Yes, welcome back to Footy and Friends. It's the uh, round 16 preview. Yeah, no more yeah, buys. Yeah, no more buys. How good's that? Bye-bye to the bye. That's it. We do not like the Ugh. bye here. We like nine a games. full round of nine games and having fun with friends. Mick Barlow, how are you? Good. Days are getting longer because we've come out of the solstice. I'll tell you what, it's... The solstice was a short day, wasn't it? It was bloody over yeah, before I knew it. It the 18th like, hole on uh, Commonwealth when I was playing. Yeah. I didn't get to play it because it was too dark. Too dark. Yeah. Couldn't see. Well, you'd been out there that long, but it hit the <laughs> little... No, it was the uh, older members in front of us. So oh, we're just probably Sometimes you just got to hit, hit up, up on them. them. <laughs> yeah. You just got to do it. Like, you just got to fucking bomb it at yeah. them. Yeah. And they love oh, it. This nice and bright not people. Yeah. 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 Brett, you reckon Brett would have the uh, tightless three? Do you reckon Brett says... Instead of four, he says three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even biting that. Very us. good. Very good. Oh, zinger. Pew, pew. Absolute zinger. Here we pew, go. Pew, hey, pew. guys. All videos on the golf course. People <laughs> <Brett. laughs> okay, oh, it's Brett. There we go. That reminds me of Brett Delidio from the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love it. Oh, Who's number three at the uh, the uh, North Melbourne Kangaroos? Okay, hang on, don't. Who you is know, it? You know who it is? Yeah, I do. Who is it? Oh, Sheasel. Yeah, your yeah. man from. He's a fucking star. Yeah, he's a good player. Hey, uh, this episode is brought to you by our friends I'm good. at B. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, how are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking hey. tip top, I am. <laughs> yeah, no not, one asks how I am. <laughs> it's, not, it's not coincidence. This is your show. Yeah. When the discussions around how many kids you wanted, Brett, how did you? <laughs> <laughs> Three. Just three, love. Three kids, three on the back. No apartment, three. Three girls. Yeah. There you go. Three of the deli. No more. Okay, no, right, that'll do it. No, keep going. When you get one, say it. It's funny. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> the stomach's sore. Keep going. Okay. Hey, um, this uh, episode of Footy and Friends is brought to you by our friends at BWS. Get your drinks for the game sorted and enjoy the footy with BWS. Refreshingly BWS stats. Now, Speaking of uh, refreshingly BWS stats, they are refreshing because we're the only ones that come up with these stats. And it's refreshing because it's BWS and us and we're talking about the stats mm. that we love. Now, we've actually sort of found someone that has, has entered into our system, uh, Tank. Which is interesting because you, you came up with a segment which required stats and we, analysis. Yep. And yeah, and which we no work which on we, it. Well, no, we had champion data doing that, <laughs> uh, you idiot. But... Tank, obviously a big fan of the show. We're a big fan of his work. Uh, as a, you know, he, well, he's unwillingly sort of been put into the show. Apparently, yeah. one of his mates was messaging me on uh, on Instagram saying that he doesn't want to sort of he, put himself out there. You know, he kind of wants, he doesn't want any um, no sort of visibility yeah. on, on who he is. Yeah. But he's okay, a private, I, he's I a this private like, man. I said he? this last week. If you picture what a, an analyst looks like. No, he's quite handsome. Yeah, well, he is. That's, yeah. But he's, I'm not saying analysts are not handsome, but he's... You know, if you think what an analyst looks like and what a person called Tank looks like, yeah. definitely, oh, definitely I, towards I get, the lens of an analyst. I get the analyst. irony in the, uh, the, in, nickname. In the nickname. But um, no, let's give him a call later once we're, we're going through our stats and, yeah. and sure we Apparently, do. here's a story about Tank. Funny story. Because, um, well, I don't know. You better judge if it's funny or not. Yeah. There's a, a mixed netball team that the North kind of staff, you know, the analyst uh, group and some culture. coaches. Yeah, good culture stuff. Uh, uh, you know, Thursday, look at Brett, he's rolling his eyes here. You can come fill in if you want, Brett, one night. Thursday nice. night, mixed netball. Yeah. Um, and sometimes the opposition, you know, only have six until someone might be running late from their commitment. So Tank filled in for the oppo for, for until, you know, they got there. And apparently one of the oppo players at one stage during the game said, oh, we're better off just playing with six. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> As Tank was wearing the Could, WA oh, bib. No, Tank. Oh, no. was he not the du- wing put him in a position, Yeah, put him in a position where he can actually drive. <laughs> like, just not the, oh, He's where? What position would you say? Sorry? What position would you say? Oh, I'd say centre. He sounds like a ball mover. Sounds like he's mm. getting up and down the court, making oh, things yeah. happen. Playmaker. Yeah. Working mm. the angles. Mm. 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 Anyway, yeah. uh, let's get into it. But before we do uh, get into the previews game, I'll sing and we go through the Goat of North. Oh, the Goat. Yeah, okay. because 2000 to 2030, of course. Exactly. <laughs> last flag. This is a good one for this is a good one for projections. Guess what, by the way? Because guess it, when the last flag was? 99. Yeah. And guess what the year after that is? Exactly. Projections. This is a, a very good projection. Is, 
some of the, a lot of those ninety nine players would have remarkably yeah. played into the two thousands. I know, but they didn't win the flag then. And I know we don't like to judge it on the flag, but it's, individual games, it's yeah, like, it's every game, every game, it, it, it cool. is. Um, it's, it's just boomer. Yeah, boomer. Yeah. What about uh, Spud Ferrito? What about uh, <laughs> what about uh, Ben Warren? <laughs> Where be Tiger as well? <laughs> Lockie Hanson? Where be Tiger as well? Keep, keep rolling. Don't. I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah. Stop doing this. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not disrespecting. I played against these guys. They're good guys. Ben, so ben Warren right? was a very strong man. Would you go Boomer and then would you think that some of the current crop... Pot- That's uh, what potential. I'm thinking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drew Petrie was a pretty good player. Played 300. Uh, who else would you say? Todd Goldstein played a lot of good footy. Mm. Todd mm. Goldstein. Ben Cunnington. Yeah, Ben Cunnington. Ben Cunnington. Yeah. yeah. But I'm trying to think... Well, Sheasel's obviously one and Wardlaw's obviously one. LDU. LDU is, a, is also one. So, yeah, the current guys that... What's happening with McCurcher at the moment? Is he injured? Yeah, he's, no, he's got, just come back. Yeah, he's come back. Okay. He's come back um, through the VFL. Yeah. Minutes. I was going to yeah. say. Just don't don't waste off. too long down there on him. Okay. We, we get the point, mate. We all have to work hard. Just get him in, Mick. <laughs> all right? He's a fucking good player. <laughs> just get him in the team. Who, who goes out? You yeah. know, there's rules for some, rules for others. <laughs> get him in. Hey, we're all equal. Yeah. Some are more equal than others. <laughs> exactly, exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. Um, yeah, so, so boomer, boomer, boomer number one. Mm. Yeah. He'd like that. We'll, we'll let him know. Lindsay Thomas, number two. Oh, <laughs> oh Brad, come on. Oh, it was Lindsay Thomas kicked. It would have kicked, kicked a lot of goals. 400? Yeah. I played on Lindsay Thomas a few times. That's back a guess, in 400. My, uh, scraggling days. 400? 400 is a lot of goals, isn't nah, it? No, he wouldn't have kicked 400. Mate, mate Lindsay Thomas, when he was firing, jeez, he was... Remember he kicked 12? Was it against West Coast? He kicked 12? He's fast. Got out the back a bit. Oh, very good player. Very good player. I want to put I'm Harry Sheasel in the best three. I think it, yeah, it, it, I'm going to project that as well. He's actually and he's um, so Sheasel Boomer. Did he win the BNF in his first year, Sheasel? Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Rising star BNF. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Do you go to a Cunnington? Do you go for the body of work deal that's already happened from your Cunnington or Goldstein? Three hundred twenty-nine. Or the body of work of LDU in particular the last probably two or three years, and this, he's having a really strong year Well, if year. we be completely honest, the projection is going to play a big period in this, mm. and it's going to be very interesting to see how they go, mm. like Wardlaw. And when we, re, when we reconvene in 2030, obviously. To <laughs> well, the show will still be going by then, and we'll be, we'll be very happy with, with that. Uh, whether you two were on it is another question. <laughs> um, might have updated the, the panel. Uh, <laughs> we'll but, make our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment, we've got Boomer, we've got Sheasel, and who are you putting as your third? I don't oh. think anyone, to be honest, like kind of. I'm going to say Goldie. Yeah, no, that's 100. Like, to be honest, I'm going to have to go Boomer. He's, Goldie. he's like the most hitouts in history. Yeah, yeah, and consistently, just <coughs> you, know, you know what you're going to get. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I, Boomer, Goldstein, Sheasel. I think I'm kind of trying to back in the development program down with the current crop. Maybe a couple of these ones will come through. And who who would you who would you say those the next three are? LDU. LDU. Uh, outside of Sheasel, yeah, so LDU, Sheasel's Wardlaw, in there. Yeah, Wardlaw, and just now yeah, I think Colby McCurdy is going to be a pretty special player yeah. as well. Yeah, well, don't fucking send him down to stop sending Casey. him down to Casey Fields. Got lost, literally. <laughs> okay, there you go, North. Sorry, that that like in all seriousness, that probably shows where they've been a little bit for the last probably little does. little bit of period. Yep. Um, that was. Yeah. Anyway, we're hoping they're good. Th- th- there's a lot of North supporters out there. My good mate, um, Kieran Nolan is. Is up and about at the moment. In all seriousness, this is a thing. You know, you should send this back to the, the club, okay. the hierarchy. Because when you're in the thick of it, sometimes you don't you don't appreciate the supporters and the fans, and they're that it's it's given them a little bit at the moment what good. you're doing, even if you're not getting it done. So good on you. Yeah, yeah. two games. Let's yeah. get three, and then we go to Thanks, four. And, it is yeah. a, it motivational. It, it definitely is. He actually sent me a video. Um, funnily enough, of you oh, no. having to just. He said it was two degrees at the MCG on Saturday sure. night, and he is is. <laughs> Do you reckon there's a bit of like, oh, look at me, it's not cold out here. Yeah, we I'm can tough. do what we want to do. Like Clarko and Hawthorne GWS game. Oh, this other guy. It's just walking out there. There he goes. He goes bit of a limp. He goes, oh, sore he leg. Got, the, yeah. got, the, got the stressy in the fibula. <laughs> yeah, no, I've actually broke my leg four times. Yeah. What am I looking at now? Yeah, mate, just a few yeah. fundamentals. You and yeah. Kanga. Uh, it is Kanga. Who's Kanga? Kanga, Cam Matthews. Do you know how I know Kanga? He was my coach in the under-17 Vic side. Was Cricket. he really? Yeah. With Sean oh, Dean? So you're a dual twice. Yeah, that's come up. Yeah, Sean Dean. Yeah. Mark Murphy. 
Didn't you oh, know Brett Aaron, was a dual sports fan? Oh, I knew. Aaron Finch. I knew. Yeah, Finchy. I knew that you three played together, actually, because yeah. I did a podcast with Finch. You could have actually gone on and become quite a good cricketer, Brett. Yeah. How long do we want to talk about this? Yeah. Do you actually reckon you could have? Yep. Guaranteed. <laughs> you would have easily played big, like big Bash and stuff like that. I think so. Yeah. yeah. You would have easily. I was pretty good cricketer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's actually really cool to know. I, 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 no, he's not taking the piss. No, I, I can tell as well. That's impressive. Mm. What Was there ever a thought of doing yep. it? I got tagged by Lingy in 2007. He kept me to six touches. Oh, and you're like, <laughs> and it's not a bad game. Said I'm... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how were your DIs? <laughs> and your high intensity running. Uh, That's the thing you need to look at. got me on the phone. He's just like, just sit on the bench, mate. I got nowhere to hide you. And I was just like... Jeez. Oh. <laughs> was it a Saturday game? Piss uh, off, plough. Saturday afternoon, I reckon. Oh, maybe. so you got the whole weekend. Mm. <laughs> there you go. What about cricketers? Name a cricketer at the moment that you, that you saw out there. And you were like, fuck if he's doing it. I <laughs> oh, could be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't know whether I could actually name one of those. Do you reckon you could have played I'll for Australia? I'll tell you who I would have loved to have played like is Ben Stokes. Back, not not now that he's just purely batting, but when he was bowling and smacking the ball, that's how I'd tend to. That's one of those um, selfish cricketers just doesn't want to give anyone else a go. He wants yeah, to bowl, he wants to bat. Still at all. Keep when yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I was more of a fielder type. I yeah. like just being out there. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's get in the weekend preview brought to you by our friends at BWS. Uh, we love uh, BWS. We get our drinks for a game day sorted and enjoy the footy with BWS and our stats. Guess what? They're refreshingly yeah. BWS. Uh, the wounded bull, guess what, of this uh, week heading into it. No, no dickhead. Heading into this game on Friday, mm. Jack Viney had uh, 19 out of his 26 possessions contested on the weekend. Yeah. So that's into the Brisbane Melbourne game, seven forty at the Gabba. You've Hoonings. actually, you've actually so, got that information. That's yes, been told. That's verbatim. Yep. Yeah. Who wins? I think the lines are humming at the moment. They're coming with a bullet. <laughs> you just ask who wins. No, I know. Yeah. So that's what I'm telling you. The but did you hear? Jack Vine is the wounded. Ball. Oh, well done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can, can compete all he likes. They're not good enough across the board. The lines are going really well. Okay, that's good. I think the Lions get it done as well at home. Yeah, um, they're, they're they're just they've started to get everyone back up and running. And their midfield compared to a, a Patroclus midfield mm. and Oliver probably getting sat on a little bit. Yeah, mm. lot falls onto the wounded Bullafini. Sending our love to uh, Petrarca as well at the moment. Gee whiz, I was I was listening to uh, Matty Lloyd talk about when he had the the split. Yeah. it doesn't sound. Did like you see that. the actual hit that Lloydie got? It was to so innocuous, got, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, so innocuous. Mm. Doesn't sound like a fun injury. Like to be. No injuries are fun, but that is terrible. Mm. Really terrible. Uh, I'm going to go Brisbane as well. Make it a light charge for the eight. Back on them. Um, 7.40 at the Gabba, that is. So let's let's go with the Lions. Come on. <laughs> Rah, roar. I think they have a very We're good... We're the Lions. We're the Lions. <laughs> the mighty Lions. Um, before we get into the Saturday game, I just remembered, let's call Tank. Uh, Give him a chat. But, how are you going with this? I've got, I'm busy for the yeah. next five. <laughs> Tank. How are we, mate? Good, mate. Going well. Hey, yep. quick one on... Um, you're just on air. Um, pre-record, obviously, so I don't get too nervous. <laughs> hey, just want to... How are you, Tank? It's Dill. <laughs> Hello, Dill. How are we, mate? Good, How mate. Well? Uh, Brett doesn't really like the stats, so he's not going to say hi. That's right, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> but they've heard about the story at down at uh, Mixed Netball when the opposition didn't want you on their side. Oh, it, he was a blanker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We look forward to playing them again. It's a uh, mixed debut there once he's back from his uh, stress. He's... Yeah, fourth broken leg. Uh, mate, we need uh, an update on the, the stats. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've... Oh, obviously, this is a dumb question for an analyst. Is your computer nearby? Yeah, I punched the number last <laughs> night. Uh, very silly question. I was going to catch you at work, so I wasn't time sure when you were um, recording. But, he's already um... done the stats on the... <laughs> oh, I love it. And I'll be at work when... You know, when I'm there. Hey, um, hey, Tank, just quick before we get into it, just verbatim on what you think of the stats. And, and I know you, you weren't too pleased with them, and I'm happy for you to sort of take uh, creative control on this as well because I know it's your element and your realm. Um, yeah, that's great. We, uh, we <laughs> I'm, uh, gave me some feedback after the, a couple of weeks ago. I love the, uh, as an analyst, love the um, implementation of some of the numbers on the show. I thought they needed a little bit of work. And can, what, can you read them out to us? Yeah, what do you, what do you got? So, Wounded Bull, um, Dill's gone off the top and said that Jack Viney was the Wounded Bull of the weekend. That would be correct. So, highest rated contested possession of the week. Uh, rated as a, as a midfielder. So, 26 possessions, 19 of those contested. So, 73% was, was the number one for the round, excluding our 
um, our favourite rucks, of mm. course. Yeah, get rid of the rucks. Um, and then on to the fundamental um, kings, which I think we went with a minimum of 10 possessions. Yep. Yes. Zero to 30 pos- uh, kicks or kick efficiency. Yep. So it was a, yeah, it was a combination of our, our ground ball gets post. We know how much Mix loves his uh, yeah. ground ball with his fundamentals. Yeah. Effective short kick. And then uh, actually overlaying that with uh, efficiency as well. So um, you can't necessarily just have, have plenty of them. Agreed. Yeah. With them. So our uh, fundamental king of the way, just do the spreading now. I just, it's the wheel, the wheel. Carry the one. Any predictions? Any guesses? Oh, jeez. Um, no, I'll leave this with the stats. Um, I'll just have a guess at... Oh, Bernie Quinlan. <laughs> Bernie Quinlan. Someone like oh, Nick, Nick Newman or something like that. It's a big... Oh, not far off. He came in second. Number one, a teammate of his, uh, Laverde from the Don. So he's wrapped up. Uh, what's he gone at? Three three clean groundies, 12 effective short kicks, gone at 95% by four. Jaden Laverde, yeah. yeah. Well, well done, done. Yeah. Yeah. He's not playing for the Blues. The mental king of the week. Your yeah. specialty, man. Mate, outstanding stuff. And then we'll just um, throw around some one-on-ones across... Uh, the rest of the show, mate. But Tank. Tank, um, you're a star. Brilliant. Brett, and for Tank? Uh, Jack Viney, 44% disposable efficiency, so wins it hard, doesn't use it well. <laughs> well, well mate, he's fucking wounded. wounded. He's he can't move. He's not a fundamental king. He's not a fundamental king, is he, Tank? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but it would be, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be amazing, Tank, one week if the fundamental king was also the wounded bull? Oh, that, that, that would just uh, that would, that would that send me in the bloody... Uh, All right, see you there, anyway. mate. All right. All right. All right. Jeez, I love Tank. Brett, you need to pay some respect to the analysts. Mate. Yeah, mate, I love the analysts. They're yeah, good with I... crunching numbers and that. They're carry the one. That's true. Uh, Saturday, North Melbourne versus Bulldogs. Mighty North Melbourne? Uh, mighty North Melbourne, 145 at Marble Stadium. Um, the refreshingly bit of a stat for that is Bulldogs have averaged 130 points per match over their last four matchups against North Melbourne. So that's actually a good one to take to Clarko. No, fu- no shit. That's a good stat to take to Clarko, mate. <laughs> that's a good stat. Hey, what don't let again? him score 130 points. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an idea, Clarko. <laughs> don't let him kick goals. I reckon that's Josh actually Bruce, a good... I think in one of those games, Josh Bruce might have kicked 10. Yeah, there you go. Good Friday game, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That, um, yeah. Look, under the, under the lid there at uh, Marvel. Look, I, I, I'm, Bruce win. I'm bullish on that one. <laughs> I'm bullish on that. I'm going north as well. I'm not. I'm going the dogs. Mm. I got six from six last you, week. I'm you trying to keep that all together. Hey, no. Uh, no, that's a Saturday game on Sundays. Yeah. Uh, Sydney versus Fremantle, 145 at the SCG. Oh, big test for the Dockers. Sydney are fucking. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't say so. Sydney are dollar one. Well, dollar twenty two. Sydney then the rest at the moment. Isn't it, it is really uh, the three games clear impressive. plus percentage. The Swans comfortably. I know you don't want to be um, never tinkering with anything at the moment with if you're the Swans, but. Can you maintain this level of like how good Rage. they are at this at this level? Like, do you want to be maybe ideally in four weeks? Oh, you want time, to throw a couple? No, 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 I'm saying ideally in four weeks' time. Got one. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Is, is this week the one the week they that the horse says, "Boys, just just so you many, know what? Just let them catch up a little bit. <laughs> it's a good one to drop." <laughs> Come on, whilst we <clears throat> um, take the piss, great match up in terms. Of, I think the Dockers have a top four midfield in the comp. Would that be? Mm, well, they didn't show it against the Dogs, did they? Well. But. No, that, that was a bit, they just needed to drop one. <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> the Dockers needed to drop one. So yeah. I, I think a uh, great this this should be one. Again, maybe JL they should be you should ring JL with this idea. I will. Boys, what an opportunity for our midfield to go up against these guys and show where where we're at. Young, Sarong, Brayshaw, Fife. Fife, O'Meara. Mm. More so the first three. Yeah, at right now. Darcy Swan, Jackson. You, you can't see Swans dropping this one. Errol Goulden has had 20 disposals in each of his first five matches against Fremantle and kicked uh, a goal in four of those matches as well. So he's had, what, three best ons already? Yeah, Swans win. Mm. Could have four. Good matchup in the mid Where does Callum strange. Mills fit back into that set? So yeah. I reckon. Uh, when is he back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Because that was, is that from the shoulder? Mm. Pre season. From the wrestle. From the wrestle, yeah, he had the clean out after a Mad Monday or something, was it? Yeah. I think. That's hey, he was meant to miss. That's not a McSmart moment. <laughs> <laughs> that is not oh, a McSmart moment. That, that actually is not a McSmart moment. Fuck, I feel sorry for him. Like, he'd be hard sitting down as a captain and seeing him do Do you know that the guy who is wrestling? How many games he's played this year? Who? How many games do you reckon he's played? 16, 15. Zero. <laughs> oh, who was he wrestling? Nah, a, it was a young guy, Costanti. Oh, Constanti, yeah. Constanti. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think he's. I actually don't know if he's played. 
He hasn't played yet. At all. Oh, he's God. only young. Oh, and the club would he's, love him. Yeah. <laughs> know what's happened. That's Jesus Christ. I think he's been in an emergency. Yeah, God, that's that's uh, that's not good. That's not good when you're... <laughs> yeah, anyway, moving on. Um, Gold Coast versus Collingwood. Interesting game, this one. Yeah, 4.34 p.m. 4.35 p.m., sorry. <laughs> no wide bit, 4.34. Uh, People's first stadium. The refreshingly better with staff this one is Gold Coast and Collingwood have faced off in round 16 the past three seasons. Do you know why? I know why. Random. I know why. Why? Because it's around school holidays time. And they want and- people to flow up. That's Gold really Coast interesting. always request. Yeah. I, I, I think this is verbatim. Yeah. For once. Home Gold games. Coast request. Home games, school holiday period, up there, big Melbourne clubs. Big clubs, and then, yeah, they all fly up and bloody yeah. go to the bloody, get a three park super pass and go to the Wax <laughs> Museum and yeah. Hogs Breath. And, and then go to the footy. And then we go to Service Paradise. Mm. Get a bloody see the meter maids. Fantastic. Gold Coast is one of the most intriguing sides in the company, aren't they? Though. Yeah. Oh, very, good very good at home. Yeah. Terrible away. Is, yeah. Uh, this just Brett, you would uh, know this, and Mick, you'd know this even better. But four thirty-five PM, that's when it starts to get a bit, uh, a bit Mick. dewy up there, doesn't it? Mick, oh, I was you? just checking. Like, I made a the statement that the Suns play home games in the school holidays. Next week we play them. The North play them at Marvel. Okay. <laughs> so smack bang in the middle of school holidays. Marvelous. Uh, dewy, yeah, about that time. Mm. Um, about uh, they're always about at quarter yeah. time. They handle it so much better than other clubs, don't they? With the four thirty four starts interesting because yeah, they'll, they'll lose one that, minute that of June. <laughs> yeah, and the solstice, <laughs> mm. you know. Yeah, um, so that one minute could fuck them a bit. <laughs> you reckon? Mm. It's not a bad call, actually. We'll but, uh, now that I think about it, that's actually not a bad call at all. I'm still uh, going to tip the pies. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Bro- <laughs> I think the pies win as well. I, 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 I just, I, I think the Suns win. Yeah, up there. Oh, it's good that you guys have sorted out your, your differences. And, Me and the uh, Suns. Yeah, you, you don't no, really still don't back haven't. But yeah, okay. Nah, we'll, we'll Adelaide, Adelaide versus the Giants, uh, 7.30pm at Adelaide Oval. Brett, you Who's will... Who's this game remind you of? Well, Anyone? It, it reminds me of... Phil Davis. Zach Langdon. Who for, didn't... For some reports. <laughs> who did play for West Coast. Who didn't play for Adelaide. <laughs> Dickhead, he played for the Giants. Yeah, and West Coast. <laughs> no, the reason it reminds <laughs> me of this game is I got dropped... For Zach Langdon. When I kicked um, the two goals yeah, two and, and I was getting... No, I was getting in Jeremy Cameron's space. Remember that? And the DIs were down. And the DIs. And, on and, high speed. And, and Zach stayed in the team and then yeah. he had a really good game the next week against Adelaide. Adelaide and they won that game. You, you would have been playing, bro. Uh, I don't think that? I did. Remember they had that really good win over at Adelaide? No, I, I didn't play. Okay. Apologies. Sam Jacobs. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Refreshingly bit of a stat. Uh, if Adelaide have lost their past four matches against the Giants by an average of 39 points. Yeah. So Giants I think win. it's going to happen again. Yeah. Giants play good. So, so you think Adelaide you should maybe ring Nixie? And I'll say, <laughs> hey, hey, Nixie, just so you know, you've lost the last four by 39 points mm. average, mate. I'm not sure whether you've to... noticed. You're under the pump at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. You blokes maybe aren't going that well. No, you'd appreciate that. Geelong Essendon. Did you pick the Giants as well, did you? Yes. Yeah. Where's this one? Where's this being played? MCG. Right. Mm, Bombers. Bombers for me too. Yeah. I think the Cats are on the skids. Mm. What happens with uh, Tom Walkins? When you get to that age, and tr- I haven't got to it's his age as a player. size for a foot yeah. injury as well, you know. Yeah. Like he's a but it's just the going through the rehab stuff that would be the mental drain, I think, for... 100%. He's out on the farm, though. He's got the fresh fresh air. Yeah. Gee, oh, that, that, that heals everything. Yeah, the fresh air. <laughs> he's got the fresh air, though. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's country right. boy, I can attest to that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should have moved air, to the so. farm, mate. We yeah. had our calf well, issues. Yeah. yeah, you never know. Uh, the, he uh, he has a beautiful farm, though. I've actually been lucky enough to go there. Have Mitch you? Duncan had his... Um, he's my... Uh, my um, Cousin. cousin's husband. They had their wedding uh, after party aft at their farm. Yeah, it, it is a big bonfire, up, mate. It is unbelievable property. Um, I asked the hawk to show me around, but he wasn't too keen to nah. take me on a tour. <laughs> Moving on, Sunday, St Kilda versus Port Adelaide well, on the four wheeler. Yeah, it's on the quad. Yeah, just want to go check out the cows. You on the back? Yeah, I was just hugging him. Just hugging. Him. <laughs> How much I couldn't on. fit around. <laughs> couldn't fit around the big fella. Yeah. I sat on his lap. It was nice. Go faster. Go on, Tom. Come on. Do a skid, Tom. Let's get some hay. <laughs> 1 10 p.m. Marvel. Port Adelaide have won 13 of their last 14 matches against St. Kilda. I'm going to have to call Ross <laughs> and let him know. Hey, Mick. mate. Get him um, on the phone, Mick. Mix mate here. Uh, I know no one that knows you likes to tell you anything because they, uh, <laughs> they just suck up your ass. But I will let you know this, mate. Um, you've actually lost the last 13 or 14 against uh, Port. 
And, and, he, and he'll say, what are you going to do Thanks, about it? mate. No, I appreciate it. I, I'd ring him and say, Port will be fired up. Mm. Oh, the, the one footy club this week um, in AFL land that'll have a really strong week Yeah, would have been Port Adelaide. Never, never Review, tear us apart. Never tear us apart. Mouth guard stuff. Yeah. I still think they can probably get nutted. <laughs> yeah. They lose the Saints. Oh, but the Saints play all right at Marvel and they defend well, so it's going to be a choked up game. You call it? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to, but I don't know. I, I just, I've, I've never been all in on the same, uh, on uh, on Port Adelaide, and mm-hmm. both sides are just like meh at the moment. Have you heard anything about St Kilda's war chest, Brett? And also, I, I'm just so intrigued. They like, just got a lot gonna... of players unsigned, unsigned. Yeah, but yeah. that's what Sauce does. Believe me, mm. I've been. Um, <laughs> believe me, mate. There's probably half the list going. I, they don't know if they're going to be there or not. Mm. Like he, he's a very ruthless list manager, which is great for the club. Yeah, not so much for the list. And I, you know, I'm not uh, sort of saying that that's a good or how bad many clubs thing. have a war chest? Saints, Hawks, or oh, Hawks. Yeah. We know that. How, how many Creightons are going there? But it's just there. crazy though. Clayton Hinkley. Clayton Hinkley. Hinkley. Put the feet. He really wants to um, pop in here one day as well, Creighton. So Wait, get him in. We'll get him and Robbie Nahas in together. Yeah, we know. We, we are getting Nahas in. We've got to, we've got to organise that. And, um, and, and Creighton can come in maybe when one of you boys are sick and, and take up a guest guest spot. It would be um, so bad. I'm getting... Uh, would, he, would he know less than me? <laughs> he'd, 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 <laughs> give us a rundown. Would he you would proof? love that, though, that, what you've just said about being unsigned. He'd have good stories about that. Oh, mate. I'm, we're going to get him in. Uh, Richmond Carlton. Who would you pick? I said Saints. Oh, Saints. Yeah. You would have said Saints? Yeah. yeah. You got the same Yeah, we got the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Where are the Saints? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Saints. Max Saints goes off for the, the Saints. Saints my, off my the boy Max goes for the Saints, actually. Saints off the buy. Port Adelaide fired up. Oh, that does change things because they're, they're fired up. They've got to show something. If they're fired up. No, nah, I'm going Port. Fuck it, I'm going Port. Just Saints just remember to play. Well. Like. I just remembered a player called uh, Zach Butters. Yeah, he can play a bit. And if he's playing, mm, Paul Francis. Yeah, they're always a chance. Yeah. I'm going Port. Yeah, I'm going Port I'll, go, I'll go Port as well. Yeah, can't the pair. What? Ring Ross. Yeah. He went against Ross. Holy you shit. You went against <laughs> Ross. He'll hear about this. That's it. You're cut. You're cut. Have you ever seen the show um, Succession? Yeah. No. Fuck, it's fun. It's a good show. There is... Ross reminds me a bit of Logan. Oh, yeah. And like, go against him <laughs> and you're just fucking dead forever. <laughs> You are Kendall now. <laughs> you are Kendall, and you have gone against someone who hasn't watched it. Logan, no. Anyone who's seen that will understand. Logan it is very is Ross. Good. Kendall is me. Yeah, I've gone against him. Yeah, uh, Richmond versus Carlton. Oh, come over here, buddy. My old sparring partner. Yeah. <laughs> what time is this game on? Three twenty. Are you doing this? I'm game? doing this game. Yeah. Oh, of course, Brett's doing this one. Yeah, he loves it. Um, Diggies. Richmond. Uh, Obviously, Carlton win. Yep. Um, 320 MCG. The refreshingly better state of this one is the past six matches between Carlton and Richmond were decided by 25 points or less. So we we know it's going to be somewhat close, but this one I can't see being, being close. close. Being close. Yeah. No, I feel like the Blues are just starting to put the foot down at the moment. Their midfield's up and about. They're two big boys up front. Jacob Wiedering's been in great form for yeah. a big fullback. Like what he's doing. Yeah, Would you take Wiedering or May? Or Harris Andrews or Sam Taylor. Oh, Sam Taylor. Right. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um Weedering probably next. Yeah. How much do you rate leadership? Like player wise, Sam Taylor's probably the best, but in terms of like leadership, what, what a weedering will give you over I, I don't other? know what I don't know what the him or I, I know they speak really highly of Harris Andrews. Yeah, he sounds very um, switched on. Stephen May, I don't know enough about I think Maisie's a good leader in the like back six or captain of the back six. I don't know if it's like a mm. captain of a club sort of thing. But Weedering and Harris Andrews, obviously, um, Harris Andrews is a co captain. Yep. Weedering will probably be one of the next captains, if not Sam Walsh. Mm. Do you look at that when you think about players? Like, I don't think so. Like, we know Sam Taylor. He's fucking unbelievable, but yeah. I don't know if he's, he's not probably going to be the captain of a club at this stage. Maybe not. But no, I don't. Okay, cool. Just a question. Just like to ask those sort of refreshingly. <laughs> Bit of West questions. Yeah. Um, West, uh, we're all going Carlton, obviously. Yeah. All right. Last game, West Coast versus Hawthorne. <laughs> Say that again. West Coast versus Hawthorne. Versed. Worst. Versed. <laughs> Versed. You really emphasised a T in there. There was a T. <laughs> Versed. I don't know what is wrong. It's, it's not, it's not a past game. No. It's, it's the what? next game. 
Oh what time God. is this game on? Versed is, means they've played oh, okay. each other. Oh, all right, I made a mistake. <laughs> I apologise. One of many. Clean it up. Where's the game? It is uh, 4.40 p.m. Optus Stadium. It doesn't actually have the date. So is, the game. I don't think this is a... Um, it, the way the Hawks are going... The Hawks should... Then they're flying. They should go over and they will have to fly over there. Yeah, they play, will. Yeah. And just kind of get go out and business do business. Trip. But... Get the suits The out. Eagles... With like Allen and Waterman and Harley will be back. Tim Kelly probably yeah, back. Yeah. Oh, I think the Eagles win. It's a spicy matchup. Eagles. You reckon the Eagles beat the Hawks? Yeah. D- just a little bit of uh, Sam Mitchell. Obviously, was used to be in the in the sanctum, in yeah. the sanctum of True. West Coast as well. I, I always just like that. To you know, if I'm going in and tipping, you know, a little bit about it. Obviously, games plan, uh, game plans evolve, but you know how coaches think. You still got the booklet. Mm, never know. Could have the pamphlet. You never know. I don't know. Um, I'm going Hawthorne. She has the huddle log in. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Hawthorne. <laughs> you never know. Hawthorne. Who are you going? Brett you used to work at the Hawks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the pamphlet. Pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> Had to keep the computer back. The you didn't download anything on the way out. <laughs> um, nah. <laughs> I wasn't there long enough. Uh, I'll go the Hawks too. I, I like what they're about at the moment. Yeah. And you're going. I'll go West Coast. Okay. Mm. Love that. Our Macca's Mix Smart moment. Uh, make your footy feed Mix Smart with the new Mix Smart meals from Macca's. Two small burgers, a small fries, and a drink for just six ninety five. Legal T's and C's apply. I had McDonald's on the weekend. Do you know what I love doing? Is putting all my chips in my burger. Do you do that? No. No, um, no I don't. So you like you're like a bit more chip. of a burger chip, burger yeah. chip sort yeah, of guy. Like, I like the way they give it to me. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm but a custom they do sort this of guy. for a reason. I'm a custom <laughs> they, they sort of guy. They gave me my meal how it is. Yeah. Because it, it over time, it has been tested as probably the most. Yeah, I also like chopping and changing sometimes. Yeah. I put my chips, I've done that for. Did you put the my chips whole in the life. thick shake ever? No, no, I don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> Some I'm people do that. that. That's, what? That is weird. Yeah. Um, Brettles, you've not, got us a. like in there, they'll, they'll just scoop it. Nah, I'm not into that. And I'm not into like popcorn with um, chocolate on it. No, nor am I. No, not for me. Uh, Brettles, have you got a Macca's Mixed Smart moment for us? Well, I had a uh, not very Mixed Smart moment oh. years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, in the change rooms, you're practical jokers and you like to play so tricks on. Yeah. On your Blame teammates, but no one might be no one Brett. The old, uh, you used to, you know, the t- uh, the glad wrap used to wrap yourself up with with the eye, so you'd strap everyone's clothes to like the man on the mark thing with their phone <laughs> up on their hand and all that sort of stuff. Real classic stuff. That's great. Yeah, I've done that. I've never done that. that was, that's very good. <laughs> that we, we fully dress them in their clothes and they come in and they're all dry out of the shower. And like, oh, fuck. So wait, wait, explain. So you've what? You've, so you know the man on the mark. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you used to be kicking drills and whatever yeah, else. Yeah. yeah. So if you got in early, you'd get like. Um, we'd use Darren Gasper's stuff we put all of his stuff like dress the man on the mark in all of his stuff but then strap with the glad wrap the phone to the hand so it's there as if he's going to use it and you'd have to just undo it all it's a pain in the ass sort of thing but um, it was funny back in the day so I thought you know let's play a few gags on each other and I've um, Dylan Grimes was my locker buddy as you know I was number three at, at, at Richmond Dylan so, oh, was wait. two who was four for most of that time oh Dusty Dunstan Dusty. Martin yeah for that and- the great Andrew Reigns um yeah, so I wanted to play a little gag on Grimesy. I think he might have got me with something. So I was like, he got you know, with the man on the mark. <laughs> he, 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 he like put like just a small tiny gag yeah. on Brett. And Brett. I'm pretty sure he put DP in me jocks. <laughs> yeah. No, he just flicked him in flicked the arm. Him, no, accidentally flicked him in the oh. arm. Brett's like, oh, Brett, oh, yeah. <laughs> Brett's like, I'm going to ruin this fucking bloke's life. <laughs> Did you ever get DP'd in your jocks? Did anyone ever do that to you? No, thank God. <laughs> I've got one, actually, that reminds me of something I'll tell after yours. Um, so I'm trying to get Grimesy. I'm like, right, I'm going to stitch this bloke up. I want his keys to smell like fish, like tuna. So I've gone, grabbed the... He had cans of tuna in his locker, so I've opened it up, dipped his key all in it, and That's really disgusting. smushed it, it in there. It's all gone in the crevices, so it just... It stinks <laughs> like um, like tuna. Yep. Do you wash your hands after? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did have a piss. <laughs> Tuna, tuna dick, <laughs> tuna, tuna dick. Love it. Oh, that is that is shit ass. Oh, this is not R rated. No. Anyway, I've left, gone. Um, Dylan Grimes goes, grabs his keys, it stinks. Goes to open his car. It's one of those smart keys. Won't open his car. The thing won't uh, won't actually unlock. So you can pull the key out and you can do that, but. <laughs> Are you what? watching from like the stands? Like- <laughs> Next thing I get through the group chat, 
which fucking idiot has played up with my key? Nah, this is bullshit. I, I can't open. I can't start my car. I can't get it home. I've, I'm, I'm stuck. Leaves the chat. Mm. Grimes here's fully cracked it, and the boy's like, nah, seriously, like who's owning that? But I'm just sitting there, just going, I can't trade uh, anything. <laughs> Have you told anyone you've done it? Oh, a few boys saw oh, me so do it. A posse. Yeah, so I'm like, but this is so boys, he's left he's the le- team chat. Left the team chat. He can't it. leave the team chat. He's fully cracked. He goes, if no one owns up, this is bullshit. I'm fucking out. So I was like, oh, I can't let this go on. So I've had to say. Right, Grimes, he's sorry, mate. Prank gone wrong. Did you message him privately? Or, oh, he's not in the group. So nah. he can't <laughs> oh, yeah, so, no. I said in the group, I said, boys, I'll have to tell him it was me. I yeah, did it. Yeah. Um, but then I text him. Um, he goes, mate, this, it's cost me 800 bucks to replace it. So it's, not only was it a not very smart moment, but it's cost me a fortune to replace his oh key as God. well. There's Lesson no, learned. How Lesson good learnt. is uh, like those times when someone... You try and do a joke and it just goes so badly. Oh, way. it went sour. Quick. Sheridan's actually got a good one about that with the boots. When he stole someone's boots or something, did he? We'll we'll get him back on um, really? to tell it. No, um, <laughs> the one that just sticks out in terms of um, this isn't well. It's a Mick Jamison, not very Mick Smart moment, but I'm sure he would have enjoyed it. Was remember those? Uh, did you boys ever tape your shoulders or you know your knees? And there was that sticky tape. Yeah. So same thing. Uh, Mick Jamison is a, is a little bit like Brett. You know, I sort of must have like just flicked him or <laughs> done something. He goes, I won't forget that. I was like. All right, mate. Like, this is really, it was just a, yeah, just a one-off. Fi- it was just a like, below you, just below your literally hips. just like nothing, gotcha. nothing at all. He's like, I'm gonna get you. Did you say a sticky tape or the uh, or the spray? The sticky like spray, spray. tape. Yeah, like the, the spray. Not, sorry, the, the spray, spray that then you put the, the tape. Yeah, the so spray. for context, you yeah. sweat, your tape comes off. So there's this like yeah. super glue spray that you yeah, put on. I was just confused. I don't think you put tape on that doesn't stick. No, you, yeah. you're correct. I I deeply apologise about that. Yeah. I was getting um, acupuncture in my glutes. Mm. And as you know, on those, you can't really move when you're on the table. Mm. And your bottom is exposed <laughs> in in <laughs> doing that because you have glute needles in... You can't move. Yeah. Anyway, it's quite painful. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm, in there, the I'm, in the, I'm in the physio room and <laughs> bottom is I'm, laying, I'm laying on the table, just mind my business. And it is, you're in a vulnerable position mm. on, on the table. And I just remember seeing Mick walk in and I was like, Oh, hey, mate. <laughs> and he picked up the uh, bottle of spray, um, sticky spray, walked over to me and said, hey, mate, you know how you played that little joke on me earlier that, you know, didn't affect my day at all and I could have just easily moved on? He goes, well, I'm not going to do that and proceeded to empty the can <laughs> into my ass cheeks <laughs> as I couldn't move on the bed. Which, as you would know, is is extremely cold. (laughs) It burns and it's... Oh, yeah, it's just stuck together. I don't want to speak too really, but it's quite hairy down there. And it's like putting like a glue stick in your ass. It was extremely painful. Um, So, yeah, that was was what happened to me one time. And you learned... I learned to never... Did I ever flick a bloke? <laughs> Not Mick ever again. So that's Jamison's my story. Like, comes across as the nicest guy as well. Yeah, no, no, he was great. <laughs> yeah. He's fantastic. No, very, very good. He, he, uh, he apologised. But um, I didn't leave the group chat. That's for sure. Yeah, I was, I was cracked like a man. It. No one owned up, so yeah. he cracked it. Guys, it's been good to see you. So good to Thank see. Thank you for your time. We've spent a lot of time together this week. Yeah, um, and uh, dominated. We have absolutely Let's not dominated. Been until next week. That was uh, BWS weekend preview. BWS, get your drinks for game day sorted and enjoy the footy with BWS. Refreshingly, BWS that, uh, stats. Thanks again to our man Tank for his uh, his time today and, and everything else. We get it back. Oh, we'll workshop it. <laughs> we'll workshop it. Um, Brett was keen, I think. But let's we'll, bring uh, him up the tour. Yeah, going no, to that, do that's, your that's your wounded balls. That's a good call. Alright boys, see you next week.